being mm-hmm. the uh, veteran now in the trans room, <laughs> how's that just kind of have you adjusted to the to the new room? Yeah, it's a quick change. You know, uh, things change overnight. You know, went from being Wit and James and I, and me getting to absorb, you know, the experience of a lot of the guys. To um, you know, that sense of urgency kind of kicks in. Um, but it's your preparation's the same. We've always been preparing uh, to the best of our ability, and now it's just it's an opportunity for all of us in our room to step up and take the next step. What's the dynamic like amongst you guys, considering you're all kind of competing for this? Sure. Well, it's an understanding that it's competitive. You know, I, it would be disingenuous to say you weren't trying to be the guy. You know, that's what everyone's trying to do. Um, so for us, it's just working as hard as we can, um, and it's you know, it's the collective effort of let's get it right, so that we're you know, we're on the same page when we're playing together because it's not always just one guy in the game. There's two tight ends next to each other, and um, we have to be on the same page. So we're really just working together to, to to help each other out to be the best we can be collectively. What's the most important thing that you learned from Whitney? Man, um, for me, it's just his sense of urgency during the day. You know, we talk about it like we talk about it like we have to be ready for the season, or the season's right around the corner. Um, but his was in that day, in that moment. You know, what do I need to accomplish right now? And his relentless pursuit of that goal. You know, and it was second to second. It wasn't just your end of the year goal of winning a Super Bowl. It was right now. What do I need to do? Um, and I was fortunate to get to watch him for three years um, and really see that. That example every day. Mm-hmm. Sure, I think it just it, it forces other people into into new roles, you know. And um, for me, my role is just to be the best I can be for our team. Um, and then, you know, with my self interest in mind, it's be the best I can be for myself. See what I can be. Um, but the team comes first, so we're trying to be the best we can be for each other, um, and we'll find the role as we go along. You know, I don't, I, I'm not going to force myself into a leadership role. I don't think that's the right thing to do. I don't think that's the right thing to do for anyone. The leadership comes from guys who've done it. You know, Tyron and Zach and Trav and Zeke and Dak and you know guys like that who've been doing it for so long. You know, they're the guys by example. So we're following that. What kind of change has uh, Doug Nussmeier made for you guys? Sure. I mean, his his. Uh, his approach is more philosophical, you know, as being a coordinator in college and um, also being a quarterback, he sees the big picture. Um, so that's helped us a lot in terms of looking at defenses more objectively and, and really seeing where we can exploit things. Uh, and we love his energy, he brings a lot to the table, so we're excited to have him for sure.